All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the internet world. I am Ryan from Mr. Rao Gaming here, and I've got another really good live stream for us tonight. Another good old gameplay. I'm wrapping up the trilogy. Last week, I played Verdant. Uh, yeah, Verdant on Tuesday night. Uh, Calico on Thursday night. And now this Tuesday night, I am playing a little bit of Calico. Which I think is the, if, if I was actually following the correct progression, I think Calico was actually the first one to come out. And then it was Cascadia, and then it was Verdant. Verdant's the latest one and everything. So I kind of went in a little bit of a reverse order of doing the gameplay. But that is okay. So I've played all, uh, after tonight, I'll have played all three of them solo on stream. So that's been very, very exciting. Thank you for making me a part of your Tuesday evening or whenever you're deciding to uh, watch this. But hey, uh, just remember before we get any before you get carried away, make sure you like this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It really, really, really helps us out. Hit the notification bell so that you get notified every Tuesday and Thursday evenings when these videos do go live. And if you kind of noticed that if you've been following the channel for a little bit now, I've kind of got a little bit of a different camera setup here. Um, I'm, I'm playing around with a, a, a new um, camera looking down at the table here. So things might be the, the, the color balance is I'm still trying to work things out. Um, so hopefully things do look OK and do look fine on, on, on thing. And hopefully things are readable and you can see things and the color is okay and this new this camera up here um hopefully that everything is coming out nice and clear and i have to give a shout out i'm wearing my all games new and old t-shirt swag here go support david rodriguez and his wife hillary on their channel it's fantastic really good friends with them they have merchandise that go out ahead and support the channel i represent all games new and old um tonight all right, so let's get right into Calico. So just like with Verdant and with Cascadia, I'm going to be working through the solo scenarios. Uh, solo scenario challenges, because if you go, whoops, I'm going to go over top here. You come into the come into the rule book here, and you can kind of fly on by back here. There is how you can play solo. It's actually a very, very simple upkeep um, for this, for this type of thing. And if you turn the page, a couple pages over, I think, right, right here. They have the achievement scenarios section, and unlike Verdant and Cascadia, where I've already been making my way through uh, a few of their scenarios, guess what? I am only on scenario number one here for this particular uh, game. Uh, scenario number one has eluded me. I have no idea. This. I, I really do enjoy these puzzly style games, but um, for some odd reason, this one is eluding me. So hopefully tonight I manage will may, be able to. Oh my gosh, talking is hard tonight. <clears throat> hopefully tonight I will be able to complete successfully this challenge scenario and. I will have video evidence of it or I'm going to have video evidence of me absolutely miserably failing at this one so so what are our goals here so we've got our tiles that have been selected for us and we have the three cats that have been selected for us and it's telling us that we need to have at least minimum 58 points in order to uh, complete this scenario and we also have an achievement here that we also have to have a rainbow button and we'll kind of discuss on how that is going to go so that is all this so i've got it all set up right now here and i've got all my buttons off to the side here now rainbow buttons here they okay you can only earn a rainbow button if you manage to collect one of all of the six different buttons um on a on on your quilt here and how you get a button is that you just have to have three colors it kind of like all adjacent to one another so there's that so if i can get one of each of the different types of colors i'll earn a rainbow button that is one of my restrictions that i have to do this game 
And also, I have to reach the 58 points. And how, so how do you score points? Well, there are the cats here, which I have not set up yet. There are these black and white tiles that have the different patterns on them. I'm just going to kind of give them a quick little kind of kind of quick little shuffle here. Kind of like this, like that. And all I kind of do, since they are double, since they are double sided here, I kind of just kind of give them a quick one of these. And then I kind of throw them down here. And then I go, okay, one, two. So there will be my, there will be, those two patterns will be associated with Millie the cat. Uh, these next two right here will be associated with Dibbit the cat. And these two over here will be associated with Coconut the cat. Kind of like, kind of like that. And so how we scored these cats, these cats are each worth three, five, and seven points each. And this one just says, hey, if I get three of either one of these patterns all together, I'll earn that particular cat can come rest on my quilt. Um, if I get any four of these types of patterns or if I get five of these types of patterns, um, that's one way of scoring points there. Buttons, every button you earn is worth three points. And then, of course, we have our you know, restrictions on our quilt to try to earn us some bonus points here. Like this one right here says, hey, don't have anything that's the same surrounding this particular tile. If you achieve that with colors or patterns. So if I have all different colors or all different patterns around this tile, I'll earn myself 10 points, which would be significant towards turning uh, 58. But if I manage to do both of them, if I get all different colors and all different patterns, if I achieve both of those things, I would actually score 15 points, which would actually be really, really, really nice as well. Um, hopping over to this tile, this is saying, hey, have three tiles of the same color or pattern, and then another three tiles of a different color or pattern. And of course, if I can achieve that twice, uh, both, ten, both different ones, I will score seven points for if I just achieve it once. But if I achieve both color and patterns, I'm going to get 13 points. And this one over here, same thing. If I get two colors, uh, what, how, how, how do I always do it? Three different colors or three different patterns, essentially. Uh, two tiles, two tiles, and two tiles. And so that's what I'm going to want to do here. So if everything's looking good, sounding good, I am just going to head and proceed. Now, we do have this nice, very nice calico bag of all these different tiles here. And I'm going to give it a nice big old shake. And here and here we go for ourselves tonight. Now, what you can do... Whoop, tile fell out of the bag. Huh. Now, one thing also, too, you can notice that there's these, these tiles are also along the border of our quilt here and you can use those you can use those to your advantage in order to try to you know complete these complete these patterns to get some cats or complete these pattern and complete the color patterns to get yourself some buttons and so forth and so forth so we start the game with two tiles in hand so let's see what my two tiles are here i'm going to grab have this one and this one here so these two tiles are going to be my hand. I'm going to try to eliminate the glare from my... I'm going to try to eliminate the glare. Actually, I'm just going to put these buttons off to the side. I'm going to put my, my hand tiles over here. These are the tiles that are in my hand. And then these ones are over here. I'm going to draw three tiles that are going to be part of the market. So I'm going to go one, two, three tiles that are part of the market here. So now what you do on your turn is you simply got to take one of the tiles from your hand and you're going to place it anywhere on your quilt. It doesn't have to be adjacent, technically. You don't, it doesn't have to be adjacent to the border of your quilt. It can be placed, you can plop it right down here, right smack dab in the middle, if you really, really, really wanted to. Um, but of course, there's probably going to be some strategic choices of where we're going to want to try to put our tiles. Now, you're going to take one from your hand, and you put it into the in your quilt, and then you're going to select one of the tiles from the market, and they're going to put, and you're going to put that into your hand. Now, in a solo game, you're going to actually choose the tile that's furthest from the bag. So, in this case, I'm going to actually say it's going to be the bottom tile. The bottom tile 
whichever one's the furthest down in this line for myself in this game um, is going to be the one that's actually going to go away. So let's just say, let, let, let's just say if I did end up putting this tile here and I drafted this tile into my hand, then this one's the furthest down for me. This one's going to get wiped off. This one's going to come down. We're going to refill the market. Bada bing, bada boom, something like that. Okay. All right. I think that I am ready uh, to go. So here we go. Now, I know I'm going to really severely apologize for this one. Uh, <laughs> this game produces some analysis paralysis for me. So I really hope that I do a decent job in trying to uh, talk out my turns and try to give you an idea of how uh, the, 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 the agony, the, the painstaking agony that it takes me to try to place down some of these, some of these tiles. So here we go. Now, I think that I am looking at some of the patterns that I have and I don't have a lot of great patterns. Kind of like all over, I'm all over the map here. So I'm going to take my, you know what? Let's just take, because I, I want to, I want to try maybe get one of these. I want to try to get one of these cats in pass. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to take this purple one here. Because I see there's some stripes over here and there's purple over here as well. I'm actually just going to slap this tile right down there up in the corner. So I can start with some stripes and some purple kind of building out that way so now I have to take a tile into my hand and that particular tile that I'm going to take into my hand will be you know actually I think I will take this one so now I've got two fern um, style tiles this one is actually going to get wiped away this one comes down I'm going to grab a couple more I'm going to grab one two oh okay so there we go all right and there we go. Turn number one has been done. Let's just keep on going. Hmm. Let me see here what we got going on here. I got another striped tile. That will actually be play out very, very handy to get my stripes going over here. Because I do want to maybe get a seven point uh, cat. Maybe we want to get some of these ferns going. I do have some ferns. And you know what? Let's try just kind of working our way out this way. Okay, I'm put that one right there. I kind of like that. I am going to draft this striped tile into my hand. This one is going to end up going away. Down, shuffle. And there you go. So you kind of see these turns are, ooh, another blue fern. That's actually kind of nice. Uh, turns do go by actually relatively quickly. So here, we may, maybe, maybe might be lucky today. Maybe I might actually, actually get two games like I always wanted to. Um, into this a part of this game here so i am going to you know i can get two i can get my two patterns for this particular tile and maybe i might slap it down over here like that that would actually be help Ooh, that would actually be really kind of handy that starts kind of doing the all the difference around this particular one you know what? why not let's just try it so we'll put that guy right down there right like that now that gets me three fern patterns in a row, and three fern patterns is going to get me a milli. And I can put that on one of the tiles. I like to put it down on the one that completed the pattern. And yes, milli is going to be worth three points at the end of the game for us. Really, really lovely. And you know what? Now I'm going to maybe grab myself. Look at that, more stripes. More stripes. Maybe I can kind of do some stripes along the top. Ooh, boy. There we go, Mr. Al. Bumping everything all over the place here. Ooh, really? Maybe I just do some stripes right along the top. But I do want... <laughs> I do have to make sure that I do get a rainbow. I want to do make sure that I get a rainbow. So do you know what? I think I'm just, just going to grab this... Green, I am going to grab that green striped one. That one's going to go away. Boom, boom, boom. Do something like that. Grab two more tiles out of the bag here. Oh my gosh, more ferns, more stripes. Mainly because here I am going to maybe get my first colored button. 
and I am going to drop this green stripe. I know I want to kind of maybe continue stripes along the top here. Kind of wanted that, but you know what? Purples. Give me a purple button. I do want to really focus on buttons because I do need to get that rainbow button or else I fail this scenario. Phew, woo, bless me. Sorry. Um, and that's always been, that's what's eluded me in these uh, in these playthroughs that I've done off stream is that I've never gotten my rainbow button. I'm pretty sure that I've gotten the point values, but I've never gotten my rainbow button. So let's try, let's really, really focus tonight on trying to get that rainbow button. So I'm going to place that one right there. And that is going to earn me a green leaf button right there. So I've already got my green leaf. I like, and I like to do this. I'm just going to put the button right there on top of the top of the little wheel. Say that I remind myself that I've got the green leaf button. And now I have to draft another tile into my hand and I am going to draft. <clears throat> Let's see here. Stripes. You know what? I'm going to grab I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab that one right there. This one comes down. Coming on over. Boom, boom. Oh my gosh. Blue, blues and blues. We got some blues, blues and blues. Okay. Now, I think think that I am actually going to drop I'm going to drop this I'm going to maybe get my second pattern that's going to go in here I'm going to get a get some stripes going just like that I think that might help me out quite a bit and now I've gotten my two colors there I'm getting lots of blues Getting lots of blues and but not very many hmm other ones. So let's just grab I haven't seen this pattern yet. Let's grab that pattern. Put it over here. Take that over. And there we go. Turns go by so quick solo in this game. Turns will go by so quick. Ooh, there's that pattern again. Ooh, some polka dots. We haven't seen polka dots yet. All right. Let's take a look at what we got going on here. So maybe I want to put down this. Uh, maybe I put down this stripes. Sure. Now, ooh, where would be a good place to put down these stripes? Because this, okay, this tile up here, it wants different things around it. It does want different things. So maybe, 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 maybe. We will try it this way. We will try putting this guy hmm, up here. Get some pinks going in a row. I could put it down here, get some pinks going in a row. I do need another pink in here. Hmm. It's just that what's my gonna be my other what's gonna be my other pattern? Maybe polka dots. Sure. If I get if I can get some pink polka dots. And a green polka dot that would actually get me 11 points around this one. Okay, let's try. It. Let's try this one. Like let's just put it right down here like that. Sure, I'm gonna try it that way. And then I am going to draft. Got some more patterns here. And this one needs kind of two different colors, two different patterns, going all the way around it. So let's go with. This, this one's got polka dots, and maybe polka dots is one I want to try to shave for. You know what? I'm talking myself into it. I'm going to go with that one. Let's try it. Let's try it. Yeah, that one, that one. Mm -hmm. Pink polka dots would actually be really, 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 really handy for us at this point. Um, I am actually going to throw down this pattern. Let's take this blue pattern here. I don't want to put a dark blue over here to complete that pattern that goes around here because that would mean that I would need different patterns then around here instead of different colors. I want to try to I want to do try a get both. So you know what? Maybe I actually put it down here. Maybe I actually do put it down here because that's going to get the pattern match here. Maybe I can start getting a couple of those patterns together, and also it's going to get me my blue. It's actually going to get me my blue uh, button. I like that. My blue blueberry. I, I call it the blueberry. The blueberry button gets me that. I think I like I think I like the way that that's shaping up. 
Uh, um. Or did I want to maybe... Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Or did I want to put it up here? Because maybe I can start working towards getting some other different colors around this guy. And I'm still going to get the blue button. I'll still get the blue button. That's still very important. So I'm going to try it that way. And then I'm going to draft this pinky right there. Before that blue pattern goes away. I'm going to grab these ones. Blue polka dots, purple ferns. All right. Oh, how am I doing, chat? How am I doing? What's going on here? Let's see what's going on. So far, I've only gotten two of my... So far, I've only gotten two of my colored buttons. I need to get a rainbow one in this solo scenario. And I need to score 58 points, which does seem like it's very far away. I kind of need to score each of one of these goals at least once, and I do need to get some cats out there in order to help me to help me out. So let's take a look at what's going on around here. Let's take a look at what's going on around here. Now, if I decide to put this green... If I decide to put this green polka dots around here, that means I'm going to need to at least get a pink one, a pink tile right here. And preferably, if it was pink polka dots, I'd score 11 points. But just a pink tile right here will get me uh, 7 points. Or another polka dot tile right here would get me uh, 7 points. But if I get a pink polka dot, it'll actually be worth 11 points. Let's try that because even a pink tile right here is going to actually get me a pink button. So I am actually going to go with that one. Even if I put a pink one right there, it would also get me a pink button. I don't think there's really one better spot other than another. Or maybe if I just kind of, if I do put the green one over here, maybe I can build out some polka dots to maybe try to get the, uh, sure, let's try that. I'm just going to put that one. So the pink tile needs to go here. Pink polka dots would actually be the best. So hopefully, hopefully, let's keep our fingers crossed with that one. All righty. I am actually going to try getting all different colors and all different patterns on this one. is going to be really, really, really difficult. So maybe I'm just going to maybe attempt just all different colors. Maybe because I want to maybe try to connect my stripes that I've kind of already started here. I'm looking at this yellow striped tile here to help me out with that. So then that purple tile comes over. Let's take a look here. What do we got going on? Ooh, another stripe. And it's purple. That's actually interesting. Okay, so... I could put this pink tile down right here, get me my pink button, and I would actually make sure that I would score seven points. I'm going to keep holding off to hopefully that that pink polka dot tile would actually end up coming up for me. So, oh, oh my tiles are falling out of the, all oh, my tiles are falling out of the bag here, so sorry. Hmm. Well, if I decide, one, two, three, yeah. I could decide to maybe start doing working my way here. Um, if I put my if I put my yellow, ooh, yellow stripes. So maybe I would actually try to do, do um, all this pattern and stripe and, and stripes around this tile. Hmm. So I do need yellow. Maybe if I just put it up here. No, we not. Mm. Yeah, let's try it right here. If I do, I want to commit to that. Yeah, do I want to commit to that? Well, I do see another stripe here, but I don't have another. Hmm. Oh boy. See, here's where here's where it always gets always really really fun. Do I place it here? Here. Arg. Because then I would just commit that I want different patterns. You no, know what? You know what? I'm not going to commit to it just yet. I'm going to put this one down up here. 
just to help me out here. I don't want I don't really want to commit to it just 100% yet, but I am going to grab that purple striped tile. So that blue one goes over there, that yellow one slides down. Green polka dots, teal blue. Teal blues I don't have a very I don't have a lot of at this particular time. So maybe I do hmm Oh, I'm not, wait, these ones are in my hand. These ones are the ones that are in my hand. These are the ones that I should be actually worrying about. So let's go with, maybe we just try to get the different patterns around this one instead of just getting the three. Because I am actually, because if I can get four of those patterns, I can get, actually get some of those Tibet cats, what actually would be very, very handy for me. So maybe I will put you right about here because then one two if i get another one of those patterns right here that would meet my three of the patterns and i would also also score my tibet cat that would actually be very handy and you know what i'm actually going to grab one of these i don't have the blue teal blue tiles going yet so i do need to get that i do need to get that boat going so that i do get my rainbow i need the rainbow that one, that one. Oh, I hope I was hoping for it to be a polka dot. All right, so here we go. I do have to be worried about that. I do have to actually make sure that this is at least a pink or a polka dot tile that goes into that spot so that I can at least score seven points. That would be very, very important to me. So let's go with... Hmm. Let's put down do I want more do I do I want my two do I want my two patterns just to be this kind of florally pattern and stripes because if that if that ends up being I do have a stripe here so I could get I can add to my stripes and I could get my purple button right here that would actually be helpful and therefore, I would need to have stripes and this floral pattern around here at least. Yeah, because I've already committed to this. Mm, yeah. I think I'm abandoning just getting the two different colors, but I'm just going to go with the two different patterns at the minimum. So let's try it this way. So I'm going to try. I'm going to put down this right here. And that's going to get me, earn me my purple button. So I got my purple button accomplished. That is okay by me. And one, two, three, I got four of the stripes. If I get another stripe, which I will, I'm going to earn a coconut cat. Hey, Maurice, how's it going, dude? Always see people go crazy over this game. What's happening? AP analysis paralysis brain burning is what's happening here. I'm trying, trying to get certain patterns and colors around in this quilt so that I can score some points. There's some goals around the middle here that will score me some points if I can meet their, um, I don't know, what their, their objective, I guess. That's what I'm trying. That, that's what I'm trying to do, and I don't know. It's, and oh, there's there's so there's so many different types of pattern things going on around here. Oh. But it is brain burning goodness. The puzzle of this game is fantastic, and I'm just trying to. I'm trying to do. I'm doing one of the solo scenario challenges where I need to earn at least one of each of the different colored buttons, which I've already caught three out of the six, and I need to score 58 points, which I have no idea if, if I'm getting close to that yet or not. I do need to try to at least score each of these objectives at least once in order for that um, to happen. Now, I did get my pinky right here. And so let's go with, I am actually going to put you, I'm actually going to put you right here. 
because that is actually going to get me some more stripes. I want stripes and this floral pattern around this one. That's going to score me some seven points. But I did put that there because that got me one, two, three, four. There's five stripes, which earns me a coconut cat. And that coconut cat is worth seven points at the end of the game. So that is way okay. So guys, because <laughs> right now on my board in points right now, I got a seven and a three. That's 10. I've got 19 points in just tokens on my board out of the 58. I've got a long way, long way to go. So let's keep this let's keep this train rolling. What Kyle am I going to draft? I do see I have another floral pattern and I do want another floral pattern around here. That will be a okay by me. So let's grab that floral pattern. It's going to go away. It's going to go right at that. I'm going to grab two more tiles out of the bag here pink floral and oh yes a pink polka dot because i need that if that pink polka dot goes right there in that point i'm actually going to get the two different three different colors and three different patterns to score me the 11 points in that spot that is the perfect tile for me because that is actually going to help me and it's also going to get me my pink button as well and oh my goodness i i am starting to feel pretty darn good with myself so let's take a look i'm going to grab this floral pattern i'm going to slide it into this spot right here now it's got me the three floral patterns so i just need a striped pattern right here that'll score me seven points eventually but more importantly that is one two three four floral patterns in a row so that's going to get me a tibet cat is going to come around here and he is worth five points Mmm, I'm starting. It's starting to come together. Will this be the time? Oh, yeah, I gotta make sure that I draft the correct tile. Make sure I grab it. That one goes away. These ones slide down. More tiles come out. I've attempted this solo scenario challenge um, almost a handful of times now, Maurice, and I have failed every single time. So hopefully tonight on stream, I will be able to actually pull it off. Fingers crossed. So let's just keep this, let's keep this gravy train rolling. I am actually going to do this right now. And I am going to put this down right here because that is the perfect spot for it. So now I got two polka dots, two ferns, two stripes. So that's going to give me the seven points. And I also got two blues, two greens, two pinks. That's actually going to score me now into the 11 point range. Plus, that also gives me my pink button. Feeling okay. Yeah, thank you, Maurice. You are going to be my guardian angel good luck charm out there in internet land. It's going to be all because of you. Love you, brother. Love you so much. Let's do it. Let's go. You're going to see me. So I'm going to jump right out of this chair and probably knock all over my knock out all my stuff all over the place if I actually end up pulling this off. So, all right. So I got this in hand. Which one am I going to grab in hand now? I got to really start focusing on in here. I kind of want, so I'm going to need, I do need another stripe right here. So I'm going to abandon, so I'm not going to get all different patterns around this one, but I do want all different colors. So... Let's go with, I can probably get my teal pattern. If I get my teal pattern, let's go with that one. Dark blue. I got my dark blue already. I do need a yellow. I do need a yellow button too. So I do need to kind of worry about that. Let's go with... Oh, and I, if I get some polka dots going down here, if I get another, if I can get another coconut cat, that would actually be really kind of cool. Um, going with the polka dots right down. If I get three more polka dots, that'd be one, two, three, four. Yeah, that'd be five polka dots around the bottom. That would be really cool. 
But I do want to make sure that I get different colors all the way around. So let's go with a... I am just going to actually just grab that teal polka dot. Throw you away. Grab that one. And this one. That one slides down. All right. Not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. I am going to slide you perhaps right up in here. Actually, maybe save that one, see if I get some more polka dots. Or maybe I'll slide this folk. If I can get four floral patterns, that would actually be pretty darn good. And there, look, there's a floral pattern right here. So if I actually put this floral pattern right there, now if I get like a teal blue floral, another two, I'm actually getting another one of those at the same time. Maybe it's not the great choice. Cause I do want do. Mm, what am I actually doing here? Four. Oh wait, that, I'm looking at the totally the wrong pattern here. Cause I got one. One, two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably too much to ask. Oh, there, there's floral patterns down here. And I can put this guy. Do I have any more floral patterns? Nope, no one. Let's go with a polka dot down here. Sure, put a polka dot right down here. No, I have to... Whoops, why did I put that over there? I'm going to put that guy up there. Just got to do it. I'm just going to do it that way. I'm going to draft this tile right here. Okay. Oh, my gosh. That was that was very painful. Let's grab it there. There. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. I can work with you. I can work with that. Because if I put this green right about where should I put you green? Because I want to get all different colors. I want I'm gonna aim to get all different colors around here. And if I put the green, I've already got my green button, but I do need to make sure that I have room for a yellow right there. Cause that'll get me my yellow button. Oh boy. Oh boy, don't, 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 don't go a bump. Don't go a bumping. Make sure I have room for a yellow right there. Have room for a teal blue right around in here. So let's just put you right there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because then I'm going to draft this teal blue guy right here. Ooh, that, wait, wait, wait. The teal blue is up at the top, right? Yeah, the teal blue is at the top. So if I actually draft this one to make sure that I got my yellow, this one goes away. The teal blue is still in play. Mmm. Like that. Oh my gosh, teal blue's everywhere. Oh, but it gets me another stripe. Oh, but I want to put a teal. I'm going to end up putting my. Mmm. Oh, decisions are going to be made. But, anyways, I'm actually going to put this yellow guy right there because that earned me my yellow button because now i just need my teal blue button to make sure that i get my rainbow button which is a goal that i need to do i need to do now this one gave me a stripe here but i want all different colors around this i do want all different colors around this one so actually i'm limiting myself to a I need a stripe. I need a stripe here. And you know what? If I put a if I if I draft this teal blue, because I actually wanted to put the teal blue here, because then that would get me four of this flowery pattern, which actually would get me another Tibet cat. That would actually be really, really good for me. But then that means this has to be a purple. This one has to be a purple in order for me to score this one. And this one has to be a purple stripe in order for me to actually score this one at least once. So, oh my gosh, I put my eggs in one basket. And I see I've already got two purple stripes right there. I don't know exactly how many of each of these tiles are in this bag. I really, 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 really don't know that. Putting a 
teal blue right there would actually be okay, but I you know I do need this guy right there. Therefore, this one's going to go away. I'm going to pray that I get a purple and a purple striped guy right here because oh my gosh. This is just agony. Agony. Green green. Look at the, look at the floor. Look at the florally patterns. Hmm. Okay. So, I am actually going to this one this one's a big move for me here. Putting this right there is going to get me three of these which gets me my teal blue pattern which earns me my rainbow pattern. I can put the, I can put this rainbow anywhere. Cuz I got one of each. And this is also a one, two, three, four of this flurry. So I did earn another Tibet cat. So I've got buttons up the wazoo going on here. And I've got cats on my board. Really good. I just got to make sure that I score one of these. I want to score both of these objectives. In order for me to score both of these objectives, I kind of nailed myself that I need one specific tile here. Because um, I've kind of abandoned the colors on this one. So I do need a striped to score this fun. And I need a purple. Because I don't think that I have different... No, I don't have different patterns around here. I, I have two of the same patterns right here. Uh, I almost kind of did it there. But I do need a purple color right here. And it also needs to be... And I also need a striped one. So I gotta, I'm going to end up having to make a choice somewhere along the lines to in order to um yeah in order in order to get that one now coming along the bottom here i would like to get another cat pattern um except for i can't extend this particular pattern because i've already scored this florally pattern right here so i can't kind of extend it to score it again i do need a different pattern i would like to do polka dots but I guess that's just the way that the, uh, the 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 cookie crumbles in this case. So I just have to choose. I just have to choose one of these things. Maybe I just might just. I can probably just get another blue button at the at the bare minimum. So purple stripe would be the would be the best. Oh my gosh! Another one of those and a oh it was purple but it wasn't striped. Oh boy. Okay. I think my safe bet is that I'm actually just going to put this polka dot right down there. Actually. Let's do it a little smarter. Let's move it over here. Because at least I can actually put another blue one right here and get another button. Um, yeah, that might be. So I'm going to grab this purple one because, you know what? 10 points will be better than 7 points if push comes to shove for me. This bag is still so full of tiles, so me getting my one specific tile is going to end up being so... Nope. And... Nope. Ooh, another, another dot, though. Interesting. I have no idea what I'm going to end up wanting to do here. What do I... Oh, my gosh. I got tiles flying out of the... I got tiles flying out of the bay. I'm just gonna put them bow back in here. My good, my goodness gracious. All right, so gotta make a decision, Mr. Rao. Do I try to get five dots down here? I don't think that's gonna be possible. Do we got another dot here, right here, which means I would need another dot right here. Am I abandoning this goal here? I don't like doing that. I do need to score 58 points. Can, that means you kind of need to do score all three of these things. Oh, my gosh. But 10 points is better than no points. Let's just try it. Let's just try. I'm going to put this purple guy right here. Oh, Maurice, what do I do? Do I try to keep going for the purple striped tile that goes right there? 
or do I just put this one down and try to complete this row of polka dots, getting me another seven points from that guy? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Not 100%. Is this game solo only? This game is not solo only. Um, it is multiplayer all the way up to, I believe, four players where you would just take turns just drafting tiles and putting them onto your board. Um, so, yeah, this is this can be played multiplayer. So kind of like, I don't know, Sagrada or Azul. or uh, Sagrada's got a good solo mode, and it's very quite puzzly. This one is also very, very quite puzzly. But I have to make a decision here tonight. I do have to make a decision of where is this tile going to go. And am I going to get the purple striped? You know what? Let's just let's just go with this. I'm just going to put it right here. That's going to guarantee that I score 10 points for this particular tile. I'm not going to score any points for this tile. I'm just going to have to live with that. I'm going to grab this this polka dot one here and hopefully I grab get another polka dot somewhere. So I got, oh wait, this one has to go away. So that goes there and, oh my gosh, the polka dot. Oh, okay, so I'm good. I am going to be good here. So I can put this polka dot guy down right here. Sure, I can put that right down right there. I'm going to draft this polka dot. That actually worked out really, really quite lovely for me. And don't, oh good, I was going to say, don't tease me, grab me the purple one. So my last turn here is I'm going to put this one right down there. That's going to give me one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, five on the edge here. Five polka dots for this coconut cat. I can put it right there. And now I get to wipe all these things. And I am going to score. I'm going to score my points. So... Oh my gosh, here I go. Here I go again. Here I go again. Oh, need my pen. Or pencil. Ugh. Or something. Grab my... You know what? I, I just don't didn't remember bringing down my calculator, so I actually will... I will actually use my pad of paper here. I, I don't get to use it very... I don't get to use it very often. Okay. So let's see what points we're going to score for our tiles. I think I know this one already. Um, I am going to score. This tile gets both. I get the color and the patterns. So that's going to give me 11 points. And this tile, I got all different colors around it. I didn't get all different patterns around it. I almost got almost all different patterns around it. Oh, just been as those two. If those ones are, oh my goodness, almost got all the different patterns, but I did get all different colors. So that's another ten points. So that's got to be twenty-one points from that. I'm just gonna tally it up over here. I'm just gonna toss this pad of paper away. Uh, points from my cats. So what did I get here? I got two coconuts. That's fourteen points. Two tibets. That's another ten points. So that is twenty-four. 25, 26, 27 points from cats in total. Okay. And then I also have all of my buttons, which I have. They're all worth three points each, which one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points times three points each is another 21. And I believe I reached my 50... I did it, Maurice. I did it tonight. Because I got my rainbow button, which is an objective that I needed. And this is going to be 7, 8. That's going to be 9. And that is going to be 69. Nice. There we go, folks. 69 points that I scored tonight out of my... That I needed the 58. I can finally... That's it, Maurice. I can, I can already hear you say it. You got such a distinct style. Let's go. Let's go. 
I feel very accomplished. Oh, got the rainbow button that's been eluding me in all of my scenarios thus far. Uh, reached the 58 point plus plateau, 69 points. Nice. Riley, that one's for you. Riley Stock. Free of charge, brother. Free of charge. I appreciate it. I'll return the favor one day. I'll return the favor one day. Absolutely. Uh, uh, congratulations. You're going to be on a new channel, I, uh, from what I hear, or um, getting a kind of a, putting together kind of a new series on Marvel Champions. I'm really excited to follow those things uh, for you and support the channel. Ah, I feel really good. I don't want to jinx it now. I don't want to do another scenario because I'm 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 gonna ride this high um for the foreseeable for the foreseeable future. Um so that so that yeah, that's that's the way Calico works. You very puzzly, trying to kind of like max min your way around, completing your different objective goals. Um yeah, complete draw your different objective goals. Try to get some of these cat tokens onto your board. Get some of these buttons out onto your board. Very puzzly. Very puzzly. Um, another another great game. This one designed by Kevin Russ. Uh, but it is published by the um, great folks. Flat Out Games. I believe this is. Ooh, grab the rule book here. This is one of those Flat Out Games collab designs they're creating great games together um so there is a lot of collaboration that has went on here you can see there's all the there's all the big names that i know about like molly johnson robert melvin sean stankwich from the flat out games team here and then also there is like kevin russ where is one of the designs beth sobel did the illustrations on this and it's so 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 good and then, yes, Sean Stankwich designed the solo mode, and Kevin Russ and Robert Melvin did this scenario challenge designs, which I believe has been much of the same across all the different the different ones. So now that completes the trilogy of games. I have now played Verdant, I have played Cascadia, and I have played Calico all on stream, all in a row, all solo. And so which ones do I like? Which ones do I prefer? My goodness gracious, this this is a this is a very tough question. If you if somebody were to ask you if you were to rank these three games, Calico, Cascadia, and Verdant, what's your favorite? This is a very tough question because it all depends on the audience that's actually going for these particular games. In my personal preference, my personal preference is that I really, really enjoy, I'm going to rank this in the, the terms of the puzzliness. The puzzliness is what's going to um, do it for me. And so in that case, Calico takes top spot for me. Calico takes top spot in the puzzliness um, aspect for the game. Then it would actually have to be Cascadia for me for the puzzliness and trying to figure out where you're going to put your tiles and everything like that and then it goes verdant but now verdant is a very very close third everything there they're very it's very deep. calico is clear winner in the puzzliness ca aspect but uh then it would go for me cascadia and then verdant now if you were recommending these games to say new gamers um which these these three games have been starting to come up in conversations with who uh who who do you who do you um recommend these for and like a lot of people are saying well these are really great family games or really family way games or uh, we're introducing gamers into i think i have a ranking for if you were to actually introduce which ones you would actually use to introduce to new new people into the hobby and in that case number one will be cascadia Cascadia would be the top pick that I would use to introduce people into the in the gaming hobby. And then it would actually be Verdant, and then it would actually be Calico, mainly because of the difficulty of play and the and the in the and so it's kind of it's almost it's almost kind of like the reverse, almost the reverse order, but yeah, in that in that case, uh, just because I want new people not to feel frustrated in their decisions, 
And so I feel like Cascadia is a little bit more open for you, where Calico here is a lot more restrictive. And so therefore, if I'm introducing these to newer gamers and getting people into the hobby, I'm actually going to introduce them in the order of Cascadia, then I'm going to introduce Verdant, and then I'm going to introduce Calico. Now, if I'm going to rank them in the terms of things going on <laughs> in the game, um, <laughs> Cascadia's got the least amount going on in, 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 in the game, even though it's got some really interesting... Verdant's got the most going on. It's got a lot of different moving pieces and parts to it. So, in the end, for me, for myself, if you kind of align with things that I like, I really like Calico. This is a really good game. Mainly because it took me so freaking long to pass this very... Only the first challenge. Grab it out here. Just to grab the first out of the... I think there are... Yeah, there's 10 in total in this rule book. So if the first one took me that long... Holy Toledos. I'm gonna, it's going to take me a while to work my way through them now. And So let's see here. The second one has got a different set, set of cats. And... Looks like the restriction on that one says you need to have five cats. Did I get five cats this time? I want to. I did get five cats this game, um, and then score at least fifty nine points. And then we got some of the restriction tiles. So I look forward to start playing those ones. Mainly, I can move past this very first scenario because man, getting a rainbow button was really really tough and it kind of really fell in. I well that was my main goal on stream here I needed to get that rainbow button I don't know did that does that help you out Maurice I actually really enjoy all three games I actually really do I actually really enjoy all three games actually this team this team of flat out games Molly uh, Robert and Sean that uh, whole team I actually have I don't think that they've designed a game yet that I really don't like. I've liked all of them. One, um, they there there is a game out there. I think it's called Truffle Shuffle. It's still a pretty decent game, even though that is like not has not not one that I really reach for. But it's still a really good game. Yeah, solid game from what I if from what it seems, I might have to grab it for my lunch periods at work. This is actually yeah, this actually would be a pretty decent lunch game, as long as the people that you're playing with don't suffer from AP like I do all, all the time. So, yeah, really good game, really good game, really solid. Love it. Gonna keep doing some more solo play, and yeah, I think I am going to call it. And it's been. I, I, I've, I've said it over and over and over again um, the past week or so or anything. It's been a very busy month here in the Mr. Rao household. And I just need to get some sleep. But I'm lucky that I've actually have been able to get on stream here still regularly, even if it's just for just about an hour. I really love showing off all of these games. And yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Thank you for making me a part of your uh, Tuesday evening or whenever you're deciding to watch this. Uh, please do make sure that if you haven't done it already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that like button because, you know, those things help out the channel a lot and they're free to do. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every Tuesday and Thursday evenings when we are going live. And what's coming up this Thursday? Oh, right. I'm playing a little bit of what they, what they refer to as Bullet Heart. I think that's the way that the, I, I, this is called Bullet. And the piece that I got is Heart. Take it easy, Maurice. I enjoy it. Go, Pack, go. It was a great win against the Bears. I always love it when we beat the Bears. It was a little iffy a bit, but I always had faith that we're going to beat the Bears. Sorry, folks that are from Chicago area and everything like that. Go, Pack, go. They've been my team for as long as I can remember, probably before I was even in diapers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me again. And so join me for this. <laughs> I still own you, Aaron Rodgers. He does own the Bears. They're going to name, they're going to rename Soldier Field into Rodgers Field. I got it. I got a feeling. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, 
Have yourselves a great evening, and I'll see you Thursday night for a little bit of Bullet Heart. Sounds great. See you, everybody.